In Merlin, the IDE is very powerful. The top left shows you the file explorer. This is where you can look at all the files that you have loaded in your workspace. From the top left, you can look at the search panel. And in the search panel, you can look for text across all the files inside your workspace. Uh, also in the workspace is strong Git integration. So here, if we open up a file and we make a change to this source file, it recognizes that there are a change. It puts an M besides the files that have been modified. And then under this Git view on the top left, you can do your Git actions such as staging and committing. From the bottom left, you can get to the settings. So you can open up the preferences. This controls a lot of the, the IDE, allowing you to do customization. IBMI Developer has a category of preferences, so you can control the IBMI Developer tools. Also from the settings, you can look at the keyboard shortcuts, so you can customize the keyboard shortcuts to your liking. And also the color theme. Light theme and dark themes are provided. Frequently you will want to run commands. So from the view menu, you can say find command and it will give you the list. In this entry field, you can start typing and it will subset the commands available based on what you've typed. We have many IBMI developer commands, but you can also find the Git actions or any of the other built-in commands. In the IDE, the main menu uh, has IDE actions that you can evoke. From the terminal menu, you can open up a terminal. This gives you the ability to look at the files in your workspace from a command line as well as running other commands such as git or ssh. From the yellow button, you can go back to your dashboard and work on your workspace itself. So there are actions available to control your workspace. And also from the dashboard, you can go and create additional workspaces, though only one can run at one time.